Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Yasin, and today what I wanted to do is a blind eye test between cell phone cameras. Now, I don't have all the cell phones out there, but I do have the Google Pixel 2 XL, the iPhone 8 Plus, and the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. So, when we watch camera tests, or we do our own camera tests, we already know which phone the pictures came from, so our biases kick in and we try to justify why we like specific pictures because of the phone they came from. I want to show you guys a series of pictures and they'll be labeled A, B, or C, and then you can pick out which one you like. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys which phone was A, which phone was B, which phone was C. So hopefully that'll help you decide which camera phone that you really like. With all that said, let's go take a look at some pictures. So this is a picture of flowers, and it was taken in the middle of the day, and the sun was directly hitting these flowers. And overall, this picture looks awesome, and it came out very sharp, and the colors are reproduced pretty good in all three pictures. The only thing that I notice is how the cameras deal with exposure and white balance. If you look at the two flowers on the top that are supposed to be pink, in each one of these pictures they have a different shade of pink and also you can tell that each camera is dealing with exposure a little different. The next picture is a picture of this beautiful Audi and all three cameras did a pretty good job. If you look at the headlight and actually focus on the bulb, you can see that they are all very crisp and very detailed. But if you look at the sky, then you can tell that all three phones had a hard time dealing with exposure. And also remember that this car is supposed to be black, but when you look at the three pictures, each one is a different shade of black, and that's just because each phone is calibrated with a different color temperature. And here's the third picture, and to be honest with you, it was really hard to pick a winner from this set of pictures because all three cameras did an extremely good job with this picture. There's so much detail in the brick wall, color reproduction is excellent, and overall the pictures all seem sharp and crisp. Here's another picture of a brick wall, and this one's a lot easier to pick one that you like rather than that picture of the brick wall from before. In this one you can see that the color temperature is all different in all three pictures, and also the detail and the sharpness is completely different in all three pictures. One other thing that I want to point out is if you look at the top part of that door where the door frame meets the brick wall, you can see that in one of the pictures it's dark and there's a shadow and it's got some detail and some of the other pictures it seems like it's just white and doesn't have enough detail. So the next set of pictures is going to be low light pictures, pictures that I took at night when we were out and about. This one is at a restaurant and it was a very vivid frame that was hanging on the wall and all three of them look very nice, they're very detailed, the sharpness is there, even in the brick wall, but as you can see that the color temperature is different. They have different shades of orange and different shades of red and different shades of blue, so I just wanted to point that out to you guys. Here's another picture that was taken at night in low light and it's a picture of a fire hydrant. Keep an eye on two things, the highlights and the shadows. See how much detail is left in the shadows when you're picking a winner for this one? And also in the highlights, see if anything is overexposed or it still kept its sharpness and clarity. And here's the last picture. And it's another picture that was taken at night in low light and I think all three phones did a great job. Now you have the brick wall that looks yellow at night and also the yellow piping right in front of it. And that means there's not a lot of contrast there. But all three phones were able to take a nice picture and distinguish the difference between the brick wall and the yellow pipes and now it just really comes down to a personal preference. So that was the blind eye test and now for the moment of truth. Here are the results. Were you a little surprised? Let me know which phone that you like the best down below in the comment section and if you got different answers for different pictures let me know which one came up the most. I hope you guys liked the video if you did please give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to my channel Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, stay plugged.